hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at label policies. So in order to use sensitivity labels, they need to be published alongside a label policy. A label policy determines who can use the label in other conditions. So the idea here is you can specify which users or groups can use these labels. And then here are some of the settings here. So notice below, users must provide justification to remove a label or lower classification, requires users to apply a label to their email or document, provides user with a link to a custom help page. So label policies enable admins to choose the users and groups that can see labels. So labels can be published of specific users, distribution groups, Microsoft 365 groups, and Azure AD and more. Apply a default label to all new emails and documents that the specified users and groups create. Users can always change the default label if they believe the document or email has been mislabeled. Require justifications for label changes. So if a user wants to remove a label or replace it, admins can require the user to provide a valid justification to complete the action. The user will be prompted to provide an explanation for why the label should be changed. Require users to apply a label. So mandatory labeling ensures a label is applied before users can save their documents, send emails, or create new sites or groups. And we have link users to custom help pages. It helps users to understand what the different labels mean and how they should be used. So those are the sensitivity label policies.